So, um, so once we had talked to Lisk, um, we had determined that you know this is kind of what we want to do. We want a tool to use Wufu, and we want to translate that to uh, text messaging. Uh, and so we had been talking to Josh and had um, actually contracted out with him in order to actually build the tool that took all of their Wufu information and linked it to Twilio so they could start the texting outreach. And here's Josh to talk more about that. Okay, um, I don't really have any slides exactly. Um, so they had all the data in Twilio or in Wufu. Um, so I basically just built this. Here's a screenshot of one of my uh, staging <coughs> versions of the app. Uh, but basically, I just used uh, Ruby, the Ruby app, to um, connect uh, Wufu's API, which allowed to get into the data, kind of like accessing a database, um, and then sending that information to Twilio's API, which could send out text messages. And we had set up um, just a couple things are separated out by IPC, and IPC is? That's the navigator. Okay, navigator. Okay, and then also um, set it up so you can send out uh, English or Spanish um, messages. So um, it's a pretty simple app that lived on Heroku, uh, and um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you would look at all of the forms that the navigators had collected when they were talking to people. So there was one specific form that we used that was the individual, mm -hmm. the individual form. Um, so that had, it basically first searched for uh, whether the phone number was filled and whether um, there was the permission given to send out text messages. Um, and then if so, it was then looking uh, at the other uh, the IPC and language information for whether to send it. So it immediately um, took the phone numbers from that database and then sent them to uh, Twilio. I wasn't storing any individual numbers in the Heroku app unless they failed. Um, or, well, if there was a backlog, they were. Um, so you had a little application here. It pulled out all the correct numbers, and if you got them, it would send them to this other service, right. Twilio. And Twilio would actually send out the text message. Right. So your thing was kind of. Yeah, yeah, I just connected the two different services and created the interface um, and uh, schedule, well, not really scheduled because there wasn't scheduling, but um, queued them. If there is, if, if Twilio can send out like one message per second, I think. Yeah. Would, so you would say, I'd be able to hit a button that say, Send messages and grab all the phone numbers and send all the messages, and, and then tell Tori to send all the text messages. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to like send each one out of it. Right. What was the uh, IPC for? So that was so that's by the navigator. So that was usually they're set up in different neighborhoods. Is that yeah. Right. So um, so we could send out. You can explain yeah. how you send out different text messages for. So when I sent the text. I wanted them to be somewhat personal, otherwise I thought people would just disregard them. So the text would say, you know, if you spoke Spanish, it would say to you in Spanish, um, to, let's say, Abram, his organization is called Central State Stare, and it would say, you know, the deadline is tomorrow, if you're still interested in signing up, contact Central State Stare at this phone number, so they would know. You know, this is that guy that I met from Central States who talked okay, to me. Okay, so you would actually put the person's name in the text message. Yeah, I would either put their name or their organization. Or their organization. I can't remember which. Um, and then English or Spanish, depending on their terms. Can you set the reply to a number so that they could reply? I don't know if you want to do this, but say you could re reply the text message and it would connect you directly to the navigator to say if you have questions. Reply to. Uh, it, the reply to it only worked to one. You know, I think on Twilio you can only set up to reply to the, the Twilio number you're using. So if they text back. You can show them in the application. And yeah. Them yeah, time. so we had, I did set up, I don't know if it ended up being used at all, but I set up other tabs in the application so that it was pulling um, if somebody texted back in, um, which we weren't using at all. But, um, yeah. Did you, you know, could you track what percentage of people you? Reached out to actually open and have that varied by neighborhood or by 
Well, you can't check if people opened it because it is text no, message. You can do that on emails. You can spy right. on emails. Just to say that. Is there any tech specific related questions?